Hi guys and welcome back to um, WinCC Tutorial Part 15. Um, today uh, we're just going to quickly look at how to change screens. We've dealt with a lot of the objects in the simple objects here um, and we've dealt with uh, a few of the graphics. So uh, looking back we've just added three buttons here to our uh, template screen so that they appear everywhere. We've added an overview screen and a, a screen three which I'm just going to rename uh, to alarm screen we'll just put alarms so you can see how they uh, list themselves alphabetically um, but what we want to do is from the main screen here we want to be able to go to the actual alarm screen so I'm just going to put a text field on here uh, and this is uh, just going to basically say that we're on main screen just so that we we know and we're going to look at the text size and I'm just going to change the text size to, uh, size to bold and let's put in uh, 28 just so that we can see it now I'm also going to copy this object and I'm going to go to the alarm screen I'm going to paste it which you can do but I'm going to change that to alarm screen uh, A-L-A-R-M there we go okay and there we go we've got the alarm screen just so that we know when we change so we go back to our main screen here and we're going to put uh, a button onto our screen um, let's just pop it up to here a little and we'll just extend that uh, we'll put alarm screen Oops, screen <laughs> just do a copy of that put the text on oops taking a little bit of time here video software is a little slow just put that okay so now we've got the alarm screen there uh, we can center it and bold it and do everything we want there we go okay so we've got ourselves a nice little button okay so when we click this button we need it to go to and show our alarm screen because we are at the moment going to be on the main screen so you go through from you select the object that you want to use which is your alarm screen button you go to the events and you can do an on click and we need to select the function that we want to do on the click um, so we can look through these and we've got keyboard operation for screen objects and uh, various other things I'm just going to go into all system functions and it says uh, activate screen it's got a lot of activate previous screens and left screen and right screen and clean screen etc but we just want the activate screen now it needs a value in other words what it's telling asking us is which screen do you want to go to so if we click that oops try that again there we go we now need to go through and you see it's actually got our device and you can scroll through it's got a template but on the right hand side here it's got our screen names so we want to go to uh, alarm screens so highlight it you can double click it or you can just select it and uh, click the green tick box okay so when we uh, go to the alarm screens of course we want to be able to come back uh, to our main screen so we'll put another little button on here again and I'm going to pop this uh, well let's leave it there for now let's put uh, uh, whoops can't spell main screen like that I'm going to tick our on and main screen again okay and yeah you can do your text and everything else okay properties text uh, we want that to be 20 we want it in bold okay 
and uh, if you wanted to you could change the uh, the, the colors and, and everything else okay but we won't don't need to do that at the moment and again the same thing um, choose your click activate screen and select your main screen which I'll double click there just pull that out a little bit so we can see it so now let's go into the run mode or we're going to run time um, shouldn't make any difference of uh, whether we're going to run time or into simulation because we've got no bits to simulate as we did in one of the previous videos so there we go we've got our screen come up okay and we hit the alarm and we change the alarm screen we hit the button and we go back to the main screen so there you can see just a simple how to change between screens and you can put as many uh, buttons on there as you like with as many screens as you like so we're just exiting the uh, the runtime so there you go there's how to put your button on how to set it up to activate the next screen and from that screen you can go back or you can go on to further screens as well